Americans were promised a secure retirement. Nikki Haley's plan ends that. Social Security, Medicare, how would you manage the entitlements? We say the rules have changed. We change retirement age to reflect life expectancy. What we do know is 65 is way too low, and we need to increase that. Increase that. Haley's plan cuts Social Security benefits for 82% of Americans. Trump will never let that happen. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. So based on that ad released by Donald Trump, he is the candidate. If you're a senior or if you care about seniors who don't want Medicare to be touched, to protect these programs. Now, there's a report out this week that implies that that is not how it's going to work if he gets back into office. And we'll get to that in just a moment. But first, you should know that Donald Trump has for a very long time pitched himself as the guy to protect these programs. Here is an ad of him, or this is a speech of him back in 2020. Pitching himself as an advocate for senior citizens in the same way. We're going to be talking to our great senior citizens. That's what I'm here for today. We love our senior citizens. And I'm honored to be here in Fort Myers to reaffirm my solemn pledge to America's seniors. It's so important to me. I happen to be a senior. I will protect you, I will defend you, and I will fight for you with every ounce of energy and conviction that I have. You devoted your life to this country, and I am devoting my life to you. My administration is working every day to give our amazing senior citizens the care, support, and respect that you deserve. And you understand that we've worked together for a long time. He was taking some weird, really long, weird pauses there. Like if you're stressing, I'm gonna fight with all of my energy. I'm a protector for you. I don't know if I would take that to the bank. I certainly would not bet my life on him as a protector of these programs because what do you know? Reports are already coming out that those in his sort of policy circle, quote unquote, are working on a plan that would effectively fully privatize Medicare. We'll return to what the hell they're gonna do to Social Security at some point. But for now, their plan is to make Medicare Advantage the default enrollment option for people who are newly eligible for Medicare rather than like an alternate route you can take. That's what effectively the program is going to become. So. You'll be shocked that while it's very dubious as to whether that will provide any benefits to any senior citizens, it is a boon for private health insurers, which generate absolutely massive profits and growing portions of the revenue from Medicare Advantage plans. And it would further consolidate corporate control of the United States healthcare system. Now, here's the difference between traditional Medicare and the Advantage. Under traditional, enrollees are free to visit any doctor who accepts Medicare. Medicare Advantage plans, by contrast, often have limited networks of doctors that patients can choose from, and many providers have stopped accepting the private plans because they so often deny the prior authorization requests they require before patients can receive services. So under this new plan, the default is going to be corporate control effectively over corporatized plans being marketed as Medicare that are going to deny access, deny services, and deny your ability to go to many doctors. Almost exactly the things that they pretended to have a problem with Obamacare in. Remember them stressing like they're not gonna let you see your doctor. That is what they're working on right now. And that is what apparently is gonna be working its way up through the Trump administration if he gets in charge once again. And you can play these speeches and these ads, pretend to yourself that he's going to safeguard these programs that senior citizens rely on. But right now the work is being done to undercut that entirely. Sabrina, what do you think? Yeah, it's an absolutely terrible idea. People who have Medicare, they really like their Medicare. They like their doctors is what you know they like the most about it. And so if we switch to a more private approach, we're just going to see, you know, costs start to skyrocket, which when it comes to seniors who have limited income, um, it's actually going to be very terrible for them obviously. So I don't know who he's trying to appeal to when he's running these ads. Probably, again, the people in his inner circle who will benefit and profit from uh, privatizing uh, Medicare, but it certainly will not be helping the seniors. No, it's not gonna help them. And all that we've described is really bad news for seniors Mm -hmm. in the short term. 
It's going to make it harder for them to get the care that they that they need, that they deserve. They're no longer going to be able to see, theoretically, some of the doctors that they would want to. Mm -hmm. But that's just like the short-term damage that would be done. The long-term damage is possibly far worse in that if you suddenly shunt a whole bunch of seniors over to Advantage plans that are far more expensive, the long-term solvency of the entire program is very much in question. It already there's concerns about uh, with the way that the way that the the tax base is allocated for for this fund uh, for the, these programs. It's in question, but this would make it way more likely to utterly collapse, which would be a disaster for seniors. It would be a disaster for, for people who have relied on these programs for decades. But remember. There are tons of Republicans, wealthy wealthy Republicans, let alone executives at these private health insurance companies that don't want the program to exist. And isn't this kind of the perfect way to kill it? You don't actually pass legislation to remove it entirely. You just make it so that over time, naturally, it dies. Oh, What do you know? We tried to strengthen it and it still fell apart. I guess you guys all have to go back out into the entirely private health insurance industry. And that to me seems like the long term play. Um, but stay tuned for that. And as Sabrina mentioned, uh, the current system already has very high satisfaction rates. For those under age 65 with disabilities, it's nearly 80%. And for those 65 and older, 92% satisfaction rate. So this being a democracy, why wouldn't we completely change the system in a way that screws over the people who like the status quo? Sabrina, any other thoughts? I mean, if we're looking to change the status quo, I propose we eliminate private health care altogether. We all have a Medicare for all type system. If if we're looking to, to shake up the status quo, that would be my vote. Yes, well, <laughs> regrettably, that is not one of our options, at least <laughs> no. uh, how it looks based on who is leading in both of the primaries. Mm -hmm. But certainly a conversation that we could hopefully return to once the choices are no longer the ones that it looks like they're going to be. <laughs>